Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. Larry! Oh, man! Inside out. Oh, what an man. uppercut! In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Takeover. Oh, oh, oh. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Well, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. Tag Team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the tag team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural tag team champions. A surprise reversal from Vader. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think that's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. And the slam! Vader better not get too cocky, or he'll pay for it later. He's in a little bit of trouble now. This tag team match is dangerously close 
to getting out of control for him. If I'm his partner, I'm furious right now. There's no reason why he shouldn't have made a tag by now. Oh. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. Gets the tag. Back in the ring now. Elbow right to the back of the neck. Oof. Wow, what a leg sweep. Oh, nasty impact. Beautiful technique. Looks like Vader is fading a bit. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. In a back-and-forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent gain too much momentum here. You gotta believe this one's over! Oh, and the reversal by Vader. Nailed it. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, close to getting a count out here. Nah, this is just some strategic gamesmanship. Great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. And we have our winners. Whenever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. That's what happens when you can't answer the...